That's next, but first time countdowns over two stories tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to Rupert Murdoch, whose New York Post printed the following item today. Just when you thought Keith Olbermann's inflated ego couldn't expand further, the MSNBC blabbermouth was running around a Yanks Reds spring training game Tuesday night, autographing baseball cards featuring his own smug face. Stats on the back identified him as a lefty slugger. One fan at the game said he looked like such a jerk. The Post's Bill Hoffman confirms his source for this was a Post sports writer at the game that would probably have been Yankees beat man George King, which would seem to be supported by the number of mistakes in the story. I wasn't handing them out, I gave one to a friend. Them is also wrong, I only had one card with me, the rest of my traveling supply had gone to charity. And the quote about how I looked is also fabricated since I gave the only card I had to a friend in a private booth in the press box and there were no witnesses. Mr. Murdoch and his people also don't think anybody would realize that the story they printed, which would be trivial even if it had been close to being true, would be seen as revenge for my having criticized the newspaper Monday for slandering Michael Wolff on the same gossip page. There is a reason that Rupert's Vanity newspaper loses 50 to 60 million of his dollars a year. That is because it is now a sloppily produced vanity newspaper. The runner-up tonight, Victoria Jackson, former actress, now providing a sad coda to her brief fame on Saturday Night Live by appearing as a right-wing curiosity on Sean Hannity's TV show. She announced that Hannity, Governor Palin, and Boss Limbaugh should be running this country, and then she explained her status as a has-been by saying in that nails-on-a-blackboard voice of hers, quote, My motivation is gone because Obama will punish me if I'm successful. That's how you start communism. Not to worry, Victoria. You haven't been successful since Garfield and Friends went off the air in 1994. But our winner, Newt Gingrich, he wants health reform in this country and he knows how to get it. Pay for it. Not pay for doctors or medicine or hospital, but pay people to do healthy things. Pay poor people money not to smoke. Pay teenage girls money not to get pregnant. Wait a minute. Paying teenage girls to not get pregnant while having sex. There's a flaw in that logic somewhere. Now what, what could it be? Oh yeah, legally, Newt, that would be government-sponsored child prostitution. Newt Bordello Brain Gingrich, today's worst person in the world.